Yo, what's good guys? We're gonna go straight into the video. We got lots of matches for you guys utilizing my new deck and it's absolutely insane. So pay close attention. As you see here, the utilization of Blue Boy and Blue Boy is amazing. Like I don't ever want to take this card out of my deck. It's an absolutely must negate from the opponent. And pay close attention as you see, like we're facing a really good player here. We're gonna go fast and look at this. Effect of knowledge, he has to ash it. If he doesn't ash it, I draw two. It's not negotiable, he must ash it. Hence, I get a free plus one. Because Blue Boy is a plus one. I get the card for free and he ashes the card it gets. Now I have a free Blue Boy on field, which with the Blue Boy, I'm going to use the whole Guard Dragon combo by using Dragon Caller to target the Blue Boy. So just like that, I get him ashing something random for no reason. And I get Pankos, Cerberus, all that stuff resolved. So now he, Ash doesn't actually hurt you because they end up negging one for Ash, which is hilarious. So they're neg one and you're equal already before the turn starts. And it's like nothing even happened. Even if he Veilers or Ogres the Electrum, it doesn't matter in the slightest. You have Pendulum Call and freely get whatever you want. So he said Harmonizing in this situation. As you see, we have no access to Dark Worm. And that's totally okay. Like, that is totally fine. And even though you don't have Dark Worm, you play Dragon Caller. And you already baited the Ash with the Blue Boy. Because you play a bunch of Hand Trap bait, right? Because you're smart and listen to the Pen God. And as you see, just how easy it is to clear through Hand Traps. He could have had another Hand Trap. I wouldn't have cared less, it would have been the same result, would have been the exact same thing. So in this situation, we Electrum pop the Blue Boy, because we, we could have utilized a free pop from it, it's a plus one, add the Harmonizing. You don't add, but that's totally okay, you know he doesn't have Ash, because he just used it. You Pen Call, get Dragon Call or Dragon Pit. Now you got your, your scales perfectly set up, in case he plays a back deck. I don't know what he's playing, he's playing Sky Strikers, and he, <laughs> there's no chance he's going to beat this, regardless of his hand. So even through the Ash, we're going to have full combo, and even through not that good of a hand. Like, we had uh, multiple stuff that didn't work out, but hey, it doesn't matter. Because you play, like, who would have thought not to send the Dark Worm there? But you don't need this in the Dark Worm, because you got the free extra monster from Harmonizing to be able to have an extra card for the Dragster. A lot of the times when you guys play, you don't utilize all your monsters. You don't know how many monsters you need to summon. You have to understand that you need three monsters on board to be able to fully utilize Guardian combo with Dragster for your pen summon. So, there are three, you need to pen summon three monsters. One will be the LP, one will be for Triple Burst, and one will be for Dragster. So, on top of the, under the Electro. And a lot of the times, you, I want, so I want to make sure I have three monsters that aren't Jack, that aren't in the gates by itself. So, I have three monsters under Electrum, one of which is Jackal, I don't want to touch that. And these three monsters are going to be used. I'm going to use Dragon Caller Target Razor to make it a Dragon, to go into LP, Electrum, and Harmonizing Triple Burst, and then Oaf and Destrudo Dragster. So, I got all four negates like that through any hand trap and if you want dark room in the situation you don't get to do the same thing you're gonna end up having the same board but no dragster so you gotta think like that like a lot of times you guys are losing it's not because the deck is bad the deck's absolutely insane but it's because you guys misplay a lot with the deck the skill cap of pendulum is extremely high and then to four negates with seal target he scoops obviously so he wants me to blind side i don't know what he's facing what he's playing and he as i noticed now he's facing striker you don't need to side against bad decks like striker you really don't like, you absolutely really don't. Unless it opened absolute nuts, which this guy, which he ended up doing. He's going to go plus five. You have five cards at hand set five. But that's totally cool. I'm going to show you guys right now how to beat stuff like this. And it's actually insane. Like, I'm going to show you guys right now. He's a really good player, as you're going to see as the match goes on. But he ends up going four cards in hand. So he has in hand, he has an Ash, a Ray, a Widow, a Ray, okay? But Ash in hand. And then he has Widow, Summon Limit, Widow, Shark Cannon. Like, that's insane. That's absolutely insane with multi-roll on board, too, to re-get everything. But, again, you don't lose. Don't scoop. Like, if there was maybe one or two less interruptions, you're winning this game. Like, it's okay. Don't scoop, man. I'm telling you, even though they have this setup, don't scoop. Because you just got to grind out Strikers. So eventually, they're going to run out of Kagari. Eventually, they're going to run out of uh, multi-roll. Eventually, they're going to run out of the Hercules base. And then you just win. So this hand, we have a few doubles and Blue Boy Secrets, but that's totally fine, as you're going to see... Because now it's going to force him to negate one of them. Like, look at this. It's actually crazy what you can do. So, now he's going to have an option. I'm going to mastery first to get Servant out. And the way the Blue Boy works is Servant and Abductor is insane. It's absolutely nuts. We're going to save Cerberus for the very end. Because we want to end up popping the multi-roll with Garuda. That's how you play cards like Cerberus. The second multi-roll is popped, you will literally win the duel. You could set up Purple Poison for five turns in a row. And they're not going to be able to OTK you. And I also know I'm trying to keep my graveyard. I, I'm not trying to OTK him this turn. I'm just trying to grind him out. Get rid of the multi-roll. If you get rid of the multi-roll, you're going to eventually win in the grind game. So play like that. 
I go shrine Dark Worm, he banishes the, the Dark Worm, and that's totally cool. It's unfortunate, but it's cool. What, what can you do? I got two counters on Servant, one from Shrine, one from his Shark Cannon. And don't scoop, I got a Blue Boy, and he steals it. He steals the Blue Boy. So I'm like, damn, he steals the Blue Boy. See, if he didn't, steal, if he just negated the Blue Boy and didn't steal it, I'll be able to knowledge it with other secrets. So playing double secrets is good, because they're going to have to impermanence it, Veiler. So playing ex the extra numbers of them is good, because you're going to still resolve the draw. But he stole it, which is fine. I don't know, he had summon limit. So I'm like, uh, unfortunate of a situation. I have Servant, though, and then he ashes the Servant. So he ashes the Servant, and I'm just like, okay, I'm going to pass. It's totally fine. I'm going to pass. I'm going to get this back next turn. I'm going to Secrets. I have Knowledge for next turn. I'm going to uh, Servant next turn again. So next turn, I'm going to Servant, Knowledge, and Garuda this away. And then Pendulum Summon and win. It's totally cool. You're not getting OTK. You have nothing you can steal in his grave. You can steal the Blue Boy, but who cares about that? He sets the Engage, and we're going to go little by little here. I'm just going to outgrind him. You just don't give up. Even though he has a crazy setup like this, you never give up, man. You never give up. He sets more. I go secrets. You just never give up. Like, look at this now. I just want Servant to leave the scale so I could pop. He ends up cycloning the Servant. If he had, if he didn't have a cyclone or an ash, Servant was going to come out and a demon was going to come out and he won the duel. So if he had all striker cards there, as you notice, he had ash and a cyclone because he can't clear Servant with striker cards. He needs like a MST, a cyclone, uh, something like that, or an ash. He, but he had access to it, which not the striker engine has. He just had to hard draw it. And if that resolved, I won because you had the Endymion. So you got to think like that. Like, don't ever give up because what are they going to do to an Endymion? Sometimes they just can't do anything. Now I have Cerberus and then get Garuda. And I'm like, it's okay. I still win. Because I'm going to use Garuda to pop the multi-roll. And he won't be able to do shit. And you get the blue boy back and eventually just outgrind him. Like, he can't OTK me. I have no monsters in Grave. It's like, oh, blue boy, whatever. And he can't do anything. So, and then he solemn judgments the Garuda. See how important it is to destroy a multi roll? He literally solemn judgment the Garuda, and that's on you. All right, now I lose because you have to pop the multi roll. And if the multi roll gets popped, you can't do anything afterwards. You just eventually grind him out. And uh, at that point, you couldn't do anything. You're going to now want to stall a bit, but it, there goes that for me. But again, if, there, if the servant resolved, you won. If the judge, like, he can't judgment it, uh, you can't judgment the effect of Endymion or nothing. So you won. So you just never give up. And keep playing. Now, I did lose, but it's fine. Game 3 now. I'm not going to lose the match, I can tell you that. So, Game 3. We open our boy, Mare Mare. Of course, the 60 card deck will always draw this card. I don't know why. We're going to go fast. We've got lots of duels for you guys. Put Time Gaze up to protect the elect protect the Servant. Go Electrum. You couldn't do anything there. I keep You protect it like that. Hard drew that, but it's fine. You keep going, keep going. And just Pendulum Summon everything. You. Uh, this is a bad hand. Like, you end up drawing, dead drawing the Servant. After you already pet special summoned the servant, you had dead, dead drew the mare mare. Like, it's a bad hand. 100% a bad hand. No doubt about it, it's a bad hand. He imperms the LP, and that's fine. That's fine. You go seal, and you still have four interruptions. After siding, you have the sloth. So you have seal, you have seal, divine strike, jackal, and sloth. So you have four interruptions, even though it was unfortunate in that situation. Imperms the jackal, and it's fine. You look how many cards you have in hand. Like, it doesn't matter. Your servant's going to resolve next turn, and you're going to pendulum summon everything and tribute Mare Mare for game. There's nothing you can do. He's going to engage. We're going to negate that. And he normal summons raid. Destroys. That's totally cool. Seal's going to end up bouncing the Hayate. And then I'm going to summon out the Destrudo to now have a free monster next turn. And just like that, we're good, man. Like, we're totally good. He's going to engage again, but it's fine. Let him do what he wants. I have no problem with that. So now in this situation, he has Get Out, which is a really good card. Two monsters, the opponent controls the pressure deck. Shuffle them into the deck, and then Widow. So it, it looks like a rough situation, right? But it's not. It's totally not. Like, yeah, you got hand trapped twice, but it's fine. And now he's going to negate that Phoenix, the other one, and you win. Like, you see just how easy it is, but a lot of people have trouble doing it. So we're going to go to the next match. These are all in a row. I'm going to show you guys. We're basing a Pendulum FTK here. So it's actually a really good FTK. If you guys want to see a video of it in the future, let me know. I have my own personal build for it. And I helped him build this list, and we just randomly match up on Rated. So it's very hilarious, like, what's the chances of that? But the FTK is insane. You guys are going to see it right now. Uh, I would love to showcase you guys, but uh, I don't want to show too much FTKs for you guys. But it's absolutely insane. As you see, just how amazing now the Blue Boy engine is, like, you just win no matter what, man. Like, it's absolutely insane. Uh, I'm going to show you guys, man, this list is insane, honestly. Like, look at it. Like, you just can't beat it. I'm going to fast forward the rest of the four matches. I want you guys to see the striker one, because it's like, you can learn a lot from that one. But look and pay close attention to everything moving forward for the rest of the videos, man. You could learn a lot from all this. I'm telling you, like a lot. 
So he has Pankal Dargum. He's going to negate everything. It's totally fine. As you see, it's a Cannon Soldier FTK. Has a few bricks, but it was Heratics. It's actually insane how the Cannon Soldier could tribute the Seal. And when it tributes the Seal, Seal will then special uh, Tefnut. And then you'll uh, tribute the Tefnut, bring out a Gemini, and it's like it loops. But it's totally cool. Now we're going into game two. Like, even through crazy bricks, he still has it. Like, he, he plays with two cards, and he still ends up uh, OTK, FTK me this one. Like, again, the issue with my deck now is it little lose to an FTK because you don't play hand traps. You play sphere mode, lava golem, super poly, stuff like that. But there's not many FTKs, so I do hope it's not viable. But you see just how easy it was. And he's a free call by the grave, too. And he's going to, well, pause it if I could. Oh, shit, I didn't pause it in time. But it's an FTK. If you have set up steel and cannon soldier, it's an FTK. So you just set up Seal and Cannon Soldier. Now as you see in this hand, this hand we, we brick for sure, 100%. We open the Divine Strike, we need to play it in case we play Dark Ruler no more. Have the Distrudo and it's totally fine. You're still going to win. Like it doesn't matter, man. And you still have the Distrudo. The thing with Distrudo is you have access to Distrudo to have it there just in case for a Guard Dragon combo. So even though you brick, you end up Saryusha, Absolute Vortex, everything. You're still going to have infinite negates and you're still going to win. Your point is going to need more than just a Super Poly. So now my opponent has Mastery, Evenly Matched, Duels Alliance, Pen Call, Super Poly, and Servant. So he has Super Poly and Evenly Matched, but you have Divine Strike, Vortex, Hot Red, Seal, Jackal, and a, uh, and you have uh, something coming up from the Seal. So that's four, five, six Interruptions, with Abductor coming back next turn and Distrudo next turn. Like, that's insane. That's absolutely insane. Even through Super Poly, like, you destroy it. So you Normal Summon's very smart. Because he knew I was going to bounce it. Genius on his end. And then before the seal resolves, he super... Oops. He super polys before the seal resolves, which is amazing. Then Sloth doesn't come out. And he plays Dracostalia, which is amazing on his end. But he ends up going in Vortex instead. Like he didn't play Dracostalia, it seems like. He went Vortex. And Vortex uh, wanted to bounce. But he's thinking if he should use its effect or not. Because if he uses its effect, I'm going to use Divine Strike on it. And then he's going to use Evenly. And then negate the Evenly. So he was thinking what he should do in this situation, and he thought maybe he should just save the pen, the pen call discard outlet for evenly. So instead what he's going to do, because he wants to save the negate of the vortex, is he's going to save the effect. He's going to attack, he's going to attack into the sloth. And then boom, he's going to attack into the sloth. I had to put the sloth to ensure that he was going to attack, because he had to ensure that he attacked into the sloth. If he couldn't attack into the sloth, then he lost. Because the Sloth was going to remain on board and this turn was going to end. And the Sloth could stop me, but I had Abductor. And Abductor was going to add a Tribute Summon, Tribute over the Sloth, and win. So a lot of the time, Sloth does hurt you, but if you could Tribute someone over, you're good. Now we're already 12 minutes into the video, 13 minutes into the video. So we're going to go fast, fast, fast. We're just going to fast forward. We're going to do one last match. We're gonna, I want to do four for you guys. We're going to do three matches for you guys. We're just going to fast forward the whole way through. And as you see, I just how good the deck actually is. We're, gonna, we're facing... Nibiru Thunder Dragon like we're facing thunders here. He has Nibiru, but guess what? He has Jackal So he actually auto scoops because I have had full combo and he had Nibiru in his hand He main deck Nibiru, but you have Jackal. So as you see, it's like useless. He goes Thunder Discard. I'm gonna do something. I have no idea what he plays so I couldn't decide uh, properly for it His hand kind of so he goes Roar. I'm like, yo, he had He had an interesting choice of a uh, thing. He still played severe mode even though he decided to go first, but as you see, it didn't matter. I'm gonna OTK him into oblivion. He played severe mode, thinking I won't be able, to, I won't be able to do, I would be able to like do some damage to his board, and uh, he had severe mode the rest of it. But I just destroy, like that's all he did. I'm like, what? That's it, bro. That's disrespectful. That's all you're gonna put up on the pen god. I'm gonna destroy, you, bro. Like, look, like you have secret, you have spellbook cards that you can't search. Duels and lines, mayor, mayor, all these dead cards. You're still gonna OTK him. You end up drawing into more dead cards. Like you drew into double nothing, blue boy. Like, so much of these cards, you ravine the Dark Room, but it doesn't matter. Like, it looks like you can't search with Dark Room, like, ha like four quarter three quarters of your hand is useless. But you're still going to OTK him, which is absolutely hilarious. So, yeah, then he just scoops. So, I'm going to Guard Dragon combo the Colossus, Duelist Alliance, Pencall, Boral Sword, and then win the duel. So, uh, hey, we're at 14 minutes. Screw it. We're going to show you guys one more. Screw it, baby. I right, know. Should we save that one? Yeah, that's good. We're going to save. That's three. That's three. We'll save the other ones. For another video of a pendulum destroying the entire meta video. Let me know what you guys think of this style of video. I do believe it's the best way for you guys to learn how to play pendulums properly. By watching the master in action. And having three matches against a different variety of meta. 
whether it be Thunder Dragon, whether it be Pendulum Mirror, or whether it be Sky Strikers, all of us good players. And it's, it'll help you guys a lot in terms of what to do. In the next match, okay, we're going to be, in the next video, we're going to be having four, okay? We're going to be having four matches involved in it. It's going to be one against Sky Striker, one against Orcust, one against uh, Grand Maju, and the other against Sub Terror. So it's going to be awesome for you guys to see the other one. Hit the subscribe button if you guys got this far, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.